G'day guys, how are you now? Today I'm going to show you the new release version of Kubuntu 15.04 Beta 2 or Beta 2, however you want to say it. Um, so let's take a look. So the start button is just down here and has a few things here attached. Nothing, nothing really, you know, awesome I suppose you could say. Um, let's have a look at the applications. Education, Math, Science, Graphics. Uh, there's nothing in there really. I mean, honestly, this operating system it doesn't really appeal to me to be honest. I mean, for example, I like how in Ubuntu, how for example you've got this bar here now. A lot of people don't like the empty bar, but I I like it. This kind of reminds me of the old GNOME 2 uh, panel, which I guess is what it's trying to do. But I'm not a huge fan of it. See if I want, I can. I can even put this panel, uh, I can move it, sorry, which one is it, it's one of these ones here, I can move it if I want, and there's no, I've got that there, how I put that there, I can move this to the top of the screen if I want, and we have known too with the kind of different startup menu thing, I don't like how if you want to go to your file manager, it's two clicks, I know it sounds ridiculous, but it's an extra click which is over like you know if you're using the computer for the day and you back into it it's kind of annoying and this this bar it kind of lags a bit you know it's not as you know, fast as what you think okay let's go into office so the view office it's still got that there a couple of drawing programs contact manager database development which i guess is just like access um, looks like there is no games installed that I can see. Media, we have I've installed cheese, so that's not there by default, nor is VLC I can see. Uh, also, the the shortcut for terminal is not there. You know, the control alt T that you normally press, it is not there. Um, can we edit? I like to make my appearance trans. Transparent. I'm sure, there's a setting there to do it. There's the settings for terminal. Uh, what else do we have? Let's take a look down here. So this is, I guess, for some like add widget. Oh my god, you're kidding me, right? Okay, so it looks like there's some widgets. This is very Mac, if that's what this is trying to do. I just put a clock there, can I? Oh my god. Can I move it? Doesn't look like... I should be able to just move that if I want. Like I should be able to just click on it and move. Does this resize? Can I click here and move it? Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Seriously, now I've got a clock there. Okay, that's fine. Root folder. Righto. That's giving me access to that. Surely the terminal is still the same if I can type in. Let's have a look. sudo super user. Okay, so we have root, root access there. Oops. That again. I'm using this via VirtualBox too, so um, a couple of my devices don't work, like my USBs and camera and stuff, so I can't really go through that and show you. Let's have a look at the software center, shall we? Uh, soft software center. Let's check this out. Let me see. Okay. Like I said, I'm using a virtual box, so there is some lag. I suppose it's just the same as the Ubuntu software center, yeah? Oh, hang on, one thing that I opened up before when I first opened this program actually is it was like asking me to do like a wallet, so it's like asking for money already. Let's get that thing. Here's my install in sources. Another in there. Discover. Yeah, I don't really like this operating system. Usually I love Linux and 
I'm always happy to see what they have, but this is not for me. This operating system is just not for me. I prefer I like Marte better than this. If you're thinking I'm just sort of one of those kids that are stuck on one operating system, I like Marte. Anyways.